Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. What you're looking at here is a web app that showcases the customization feature of the Watson Speech to Text service, which is available on the IBM Cloud. The app was written in JavaScript using React on the front end and the Express framework on the server side. To start, let me show you one of the panels in the app. This is the transcribe panel where you can input audio files which will be transcribed into text. It allows the user to, user to choose between the base speech to text model or a custom built model. The base model does a uh, great job of transcribing general vocabulary used in day to day conversations, but what if you wanted to transcribe audio from a very specialized domain like law, sports, or medicine? This is where the custom model comes into play. Using example audio and text files, you can train the Watson speech to text service to understand new words and phrases. For our example, we have built a custom model for the medical industry, specifically dealing with dictation from doctors. So let me show you how well the models perform by showing you the actual results from submitting the same audio file to each model. I'll show the results in two windows. The one on the left uses the base model and the one on the right uses the custom model. Let me highlight some examples of where the custom model provides a much more accurate job of transcribing than the base model. Here you see the custom model correctly transcribes lower sternum where the base model returns lower stardom. Here it correctly transcribes troponia, which is a type of protein, versus the common word proponent. And here are a couple of other obvious ones. Acute coronary syndrome versus a good corn syndrome. And ulcerative colitis versus full sort of colitis. If you would like to learn more about this app and how to build a custom speech to text model, you can find this code pattern on GitHub at github.com slash IBM slash train custom speech model. I'll add a link to this repo in the video description. And as always, this and all code patterns are available from the developer.ibm.com website. Here you can find examples on how to build all types of apps using various languages and frameworks to integrate with Watson services and other IBM cloud technologies. You can find tutorials, articles, everything you need to start developing and using IBM Watson. Let's go back and take a look at the README. Here you can see all of the background information on what it does and all the technologies used. Here we show uh, an app integrating with the Watson speech to text service and building a model using data from EasyDI, which we will talk about in a minute. And it also shows other users can access the service and model at the same time. Here we see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to build and run the app. Step one is to clone the repo. Then we create our Watson speech to text service from IBM Cloud and generate our credentials. Uh, note that you can only customize a speech model if you have a standard plan, so you will need to upgrade if you only have the free trial version. Next, we download the audio and text files from the EasyDI website. The DI stands for Data Intelligence. If we go to their site, uh, you can download over 16 hours of medical dictation in both audio and text format. I will add a link to this uh, site in the video description. We then go through the steps to prepare the data so that we can submit it to the Watson speech to text service. 
Here we show how to train the model. At this point we offer two paths. You can use the application like I showed earlier. Or you can use the command line to invoke a set of Python scripts that will do the same thing. If you do use the application, you will need to add your Watson Speech to Text Service credentials as shown here. And here are the commands to build and start the app. And the app will automatically start on localhost port 3000. If you do decide to use the command line, you will have to define some local environment variables to hold, hold your credentials and also some model ID keys. So let's go back to our app and see what else we can do with it. The Corpora page is where you can submit transcribed text files um, that we want to train our custom model with. And the audio page is similar, but for the audio files, remember these are all the files that we downloaded from EasyDI earlier. The train panel is where you can start and monitor the progress of training your models. As you can see, both our language and acoustics models are ready to be used. Now let's take a look at the words panel. Here are a list of words that the Watson Speech to Text Services added, added to its uh, vocabulary. So basically words that didn't exist or don't exist in the base model. And as you can see, most of the words are medical terms. One last feature I wanted to show was a dynamic training feature. If we go back to the transcribe page in the app, um, after you see a transcription of your audio file, you can actually make uh, fixes within the text window. Let's change proponent to Treponia. Then provide a unique corpus file name and then submit it. You can also include the audio file if it isn't already part of the model. So as you can see, this would be a great way to continually retrain your model to get better and better results. Well, with that, I think I'll wrap this up for now. Hopefully you'll get a chance to uh, download and run this code pattern on your own. Thanks again for your time.